Hi, everybody. It's Jennifer Trask, Mindset Coach and Business Advisor for Coaches and Healers. And today I am here with the beautiful Jen Han from jenhan.com. Hi, Jen. Hi. And Jen is a food freedom coach. So she helps people um, break free from different, I guess, food addictions and so on and so forth. I get Jen to tell you a little bit more about it. Um, but I'm really excited to have Jen here today because um, Jen and I, God, we must start working together about a year, year and a bit ago, I think. Yeah. Been a little bit. 2015. Right. Okay. Yeah. So a little over a year and a half, a bit, year and a bit. And um, Jen has had, like, I feel, I feel like a tremendous transformation in the way she views her business and what has happened since then. And so I asked her to come on and talk about um, what has happened for her over the last year and what has helped her. So um, she'll share her story with you and really so you can help see um, what, what were the things that really helped her significantly grow, I think, in confidence and in business and clients and how things have shifted and changed. So Jen, first, tell us about the work that you do. So as Jennifer said, I'm a food freedom coach. I help women who struggle with disordered eating, weight issues, food addictions. So women who just live their lives in that constant obsession with food and just thinking about it 24 seven and always are starting over on Monday and trying to find a diet that just, you know, takes the weight off really quickly. So I, I do one-on-one -on -one coaching and I, I have a membership program um, called the normal eaters club. And that's actually relaunching in January. And I started my business probably about two and a half years ago now. And, um, I reached out to, Je I, I've been following Jennifer for a while and I reached out, I guess, or maybe you reached out to me in a Facebook, I can't remember, we connected on I Facebook. did, I did, it was in a Facebook group, you had put out a post and I wrote on your post. Yeah, and then she messaged me or I messaged her, or I don't remember, we ended up doing a Skype call <clears throat> and I, so I, what stuck out for me was, this is, I was new to business and I thought I knew what I did, was doing, but didn't, um, <laughs> realized I had a lot to learn. But the Skype call, I was, I remember like closing my laptop and just being like, that was incredible. We talked, I felt like I had so many shifts just from that simple conversation. And I felt like you, your, your selling was, was by doing, you know, it was by helping. And, and that for me stuck out so much because I was like, oh my gosh, you know, it, I, I, didn't, it didn't, wasn't slimy or skeezy because I'd been in the world where I felt like people were just selling, selling, selling because I was new. Right. And it was so cool. I was like, wow, like she just really wants to help. Like that's incredible. Mm -hmm. um, and then kind of got in your blog and just followed you. And um, yeah, we ended up, and I knew I needed a coach. I knew I really wanted to work on mindset stuff because I mm -hmm. felt like that was really holding me back. I was just on this emotional roller coaster all the time. Like, I had opened my doors in June of 2014 and like expected to be a millionaire by like December of 2014. <laughs> I don't know what that's like at all. <laughs> and so I totally just got caught up in that like, you know, like, yes, here it is. This is my, I'm launching. This is my breakthrough. It's going to be like a $20,000 launch. Like I can quit my job. And then, you know, I'd, I'd have like three clients and then just be crushingly disappointed. And so I realized for myself, that I needed help with the mental emotional piece. So that's kind of when we started working together. Right. Right. That was okay. So you just answered my first question. <laughs> You're so easy. Well, I was going to say, what's the biggest thing that you were struggling with when we met, but that was it. Yeah. And I think it was, I knew I needed that aspect of, because I, I had already taken courses, online courses. I had already had a business coach to help me with just strategy and marketing. And I felt like I just maxed out my, not my learning or needing to know more, but like the intellectual component, just like what yeah. to do, how to do it, Facebook ads, build your list, you know, opting, all that stuff. So for me, it was just really apparent, like reflecting on my first year in business, I was like, I can't, you know, I'm not enjoying it. I started it because I was passionate about this and I wanted to change the lives of these women. But what was the point if I was just like miserable all the time? So I was like, I need some help. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> and, 
And so what was making you miserable all the time? I was just so caught up in the ups and downs. Like, this is my big break and getting like so excited and like every night, like focusing on like how to manifest these clients and like trying to do everything. And, um, and then just would get caught up in like the despair and the frustration and this isn't going to work. And is this just like not meant to be, you know, maybe it's just not meant to be like, maybe it's just... so I, I emotionally would just get so down on myself and be like, it's not going to work and, and just criticize myself and think like these horrible thoughts. And it was, for me, it was just, I, I can't keep doing this because it's not fun for me anymore. Like I wanted business. Yes, business is hard and there's things you have to learn and ups and downs, but like I wanted to be able to be in my business and like it essentially. <laughs> Imagine. I know, like that's why I started it. <laughs> I had to really learn how, and money was a bit like money mindset and um, which I mean, we're always working on that, but, but learning how to like, I don't think I knew what I needed to know until we started working together. Right. Does that makes sense. Like I, I knew I needed emotional mindset, mental work. Yeah. Like, I don't think I knew exactly what I needed to do until we started working together. So now hindsight, as they say, is 2020 and you're looking back, what have been some of the things that actually surprised you that were the things you needed that you didn't know you needed? So I think I would say like hands down upon reflection of our year together, the biggest thing I, I, I took away was understanding that I have to, like when you always talk about the unconditionalness of business, like you can't love your business when you have free clients and hate your business when you have no clients. Like mm -hmm. you're in it for this, for, for the long haul and you have to be unconditional. You can't just like love it one day, hate it one day. You know, like when you're in a successful marriage, you don't love your part. I mean, maybe get irritated your part, but you don't like love them and hate them, love them and hate them. It's like you have this steady, even relationship. Of course there are ups and downs, but so for me, it was the feeling good despite the conditions. Yeah. Oh, that's so big. Everybody hear that. That's huge. Like I'm still like, you know, reminded again and again and again that like, but I have to feel good despite what's going on. Uh, so I think that for me was the biggest takeaway. Um, but also I would say like the money stuff, I don't think I realized how deep, deep that went uh, and just my, my, um, and this was at the very beginning, but the realization of the beliefs I had around um, like how money would come in or how like I had to work hard for money or that I had to struggle for, for financial success. So all the kind of beliefs about success and money that I didn't know I had. Right. Uh, you know, kind of just worked through all that stuff and, and kind of picked it apart to move past it. Yeah. It's huge. And, um, well, cause one of the things you said earlier, like you, you weren't even sure about what you didn't know. And I think that's the biggest thing. I mean, even when you work with your clients, that's the biggest thing that coaching can give you. I think is when you're in the midst of it, you're like, I didn't even know I was doing this thing that's holding me back. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's huge. That's huge. And so how has, moving beyond beginning to love your business unconditionally, how has that helped your confidence? So I'd say as far as confidence, I think it's more for me, like the confidence that I'm in this for the long haul. And, and I guess what I mean by that is like, you know, the last year of my business, I've still had ups and downs, but like, um, you know, I had like a great couple months and then kind of a down few months and this ebb and flow. And I think the confidence for me comes in like sort of faith and trust that like there is this ebb and flow in business. Mm -hmm. And the more, the longer I'm in my business, the more confident I get that like, of course there's this ebb and flow. You know, you don't have the exact same thing every single month. It's, it's, and when you're, and, and I think one of the things that you hammered home and that, um, I'm so grateful for is the being in it for the long haul. Like, you know, you'd be like, just 
Jen, like you're going to be in this for 30 or 40 years. Like what's, <laughs> what's another three months of working on the mindset? I'm like, but <laughs> now, <laughs> so I think reminding myself that over and over, like, you're right. What is three months? What is six months? What is a year? Yeah. I'm going to truly be in this in some form or fashion for the next, you know, for my whole life. Yeah. You know, I'm so glad you said that because I was on, um, I saw this post on Facebook a few weeks ago and it was, um, it was this image, like kind of like an infographic and from someone who had interviewed a bunch of millionaires and, um, you know, and I think these were not like new millionaires, like just, you know, people who've been super successful for a while. And, he, it was sort of like 18 things he learned from doing these interviews or something. And one of them was, you know, there's no such thing as an overnight success. Everybody took eight to 10 years. Mm, and, and, um, not that <laughs> coaches are starting to, Oh no, I don't have eight years, but <laughs> no, no, it doesn't take eight years. But I think the, the point is you know, like even sometimes we see people coming into the coaching industry and, um, you know, they make a million dollars in their first year. But what most people don't realize is that coaching business is not their first business, you know, and they've done other things that are either very similar or they had the financial resources to hire the help that moved them very, very quickly or whatever. And, and so what I love about being in it for the long haul, being, being in your a relationship with your business is understanding that um, it's okay if you're engaged for a while. Like, it's okay if you're not married yet. Um, and, I, and to be honest with you, you know, it's, it's interesting because I think the moment you let go of those expectations of it has to happen at this time, this time, this time is the moment you actually relax and allow in what you want in your business. Yeah. And, and the other thing I'd say is that we would talk about this a little too. So many of the lessons I was learning in business are what I teach my clients. So like exactly what you're saying, you know, if you're, if you're grasping and desperate to lose the weight and look like this, you know, X size, it's like, you don't never come. But when you, when you relax into it and like, let it go, it's like, that's when it, you have the space for it to happen. And, and like, I thought I learned all these lessons. So it's, it's the universe just laughing at me and saying, nope, you got to learn all these lessons again. <laughs> <laughs> but it doesn't count when it's in the other area of your life. Like <laughs> and I think too, as, um, teachers, you know, we teach that, which we need to know. So, you know, and that's the blessing of coaching is, is it's almost like getting paid to learn. You're constantly, as you help others, you help yourself, which is, uh, something, something I'm always grateful for. I, I feel like my, my clients teach me so much and, and then also help me help others. Cause then I have other stories and stuff too, which is good. And, and you can see things in your life better and clearer and, yeah, it's good. So tell me, um, how is your business different today than say when we began? So when we began, um, so one thing I've always been really consistent. So like I've always done weekly blogging. I've never been, so my business was sort of had a really good foundation of mm -hmm. just like the bare bones of, you know, blogging and my website was set up. Um, I had had, so, so when we met, I had actually had like my first client, my first, like, you know, three month package client and sort of within the first few months of working together, I you know, got a few clients and, um, so throughout the last year, it's, it's grown much more consistent in terms of clients, yes. um, still, still an ebb and flow, but I think it's, I think the growth has been steady and, you know, I had my couple of best months ever with you, which yeah. is awesome. And I think it's just become an actual business. If that even makes sense. Um, yes. Just as far as like there's steady income and there's steady clients and, you know, I'm growing my list and, you know, Facebook live and all kind of the marketing aspect. Um, yes. 
So I think it, it's the consistency has grown. Yes. Um, if that makes sense. Yes. And does, because what I have found in my business as the consistency has grown, um, what happens is that each new level is it's giving me a new confidence to grow the next phase of consistency. Yeah. So for example, like, you, you know, it's funny, like if someone tries to like, you know, make a million dollars in their first year, it's a lot harder than saying, okay, first let me replace my current income. So let's say for, for an example, that's $50,000 a year. So it's easier for someone to wrap their head around making $50,000 a year if they've never made, had their own business than say a million dollars a year. And then if you want to, once you get there, you already have, you've learned, you're, you're a different person. You've learned more, you know more, you've grown. And you're like, Ooh, like now I can see how I could easily make a hundred or $150,000 a year or even 200. So depending on how much courage and confidence you have at that point in time, you're going to try to, you know, double or triple or whatever. And then as you kind of, I think too, then as you get into the larger amounts of money, you, if you're smart with your money, of course, you use it wisely and then you can, you reinvest back into the business and yourself and therefore it can multiply faster. So you can actually get to the million dollars a year or whatever that is for someone. If you sort of chunk it down into those smaller, those smaller goals and those smaller consistencies, those steps are what matter. Yeah. Wicked. So, <laughs> so I'm, I'm so happy for you. Like, um, it's, it's been amazing watching things unfold for you. And I know how hard and how much effort you've put in, um, to get yourself. Cause I, I think it's more of a letting go process. Would you say like you've let a lot of stuff go Yeah, that doesn't serve you? Um, I will say to people who are watching, like, I think sometimes I thought Jennifer would kill me for like talking about the same thing over and over. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm still struggling with this. And, um, but, at, but in retrospect, it's just like, I'm so grateful that you have that patience and like, you know, didn't want to kill me or maybe you did, but you didn't tell me. Um, <laughs> but to just like, to allow me to be where I was and to mm. um, just, because I, I think like I had, it, it, it was just me learning that lesson until I actually learned the lesson. And I'm still learning on a different level, but like the lesson of, you know, something didn't go as I thought it would, or something didn't turn out as planned, or, you know, a client canceled. I think that's the other thing I learned really <laughs> during our time together is that like, not to take things personally is like putting on your business hat and being like, okay, a client canceled. Like, it's not because you're the most horrible person ever to walk this earth. And like, she hates you, you know, it's like, and it doesn't mean your business is going to fail. Like, it's just someone canceled, you know, like get over it and move on. Yes. And, and that, that's just the nature of business. Yes. Like, you know, and you always kind of compare it to retail stores. Like, yes, yeah, someone returns something like that's, that's a retail store. So it's like, I think under really understanding that. And, and I, and I think just learning through experience, like I, you, you know, you can intellectualize like, okay, I won't be upset when someone cancels, but like it happens and then it happens another time or something else happens. And you kind of just through that experience, you, you get it more. Yes. Uh, and so I can't remember what my point was, but, oh yeah, it was just that, um, learning to, to take the, the two skills I was building, being a coach, being an entrepreneur and understanding that they're different. They're really different. And yeah. you have to be one at, at one point and one at another point. And it's like, you know, it's not the end of the world. I'm like, that's just part of business. Yes. <clears throat> yes. I love it. So what to you do you think has been, um, the most valuable for you in deciding to like in having a coach and having that consistency overall, like, so, cause like if someone's watching and they're thinking about, cause, cause when you're going to invest in a business coach, um, it's definitely more than if you're just going to buy a course or something like that. So what do you think has been the most valuable for taking that leap and going into that kind of, uh, investment in yourself and in your business? You know, I, I think most people say accountability. And I would say for me, it was more of being 
working on my specific problems. So like within a course, you can, it, it's sort of themed and yes, you can ask your own questions, but it's not the same as working one-on-one -on -one to be like, this is my issue. Like, yes, I, if we're talking about money for the next three months, like we're talking about money for the next three months. So I think for me, it was that. <clears throat> and it was also just having someone to turn to because I was so new to business. I, I don't, and I still, I'm building that community slowly, but I didn't have a lot of entrepreneurial circles that I ran in. And so for me, it was also that just having someone to turn to, to being like, you know, not like talk, call my boyfriend every time, like I was upset about a client canceling or like, <laughs> like, you know, I could turn to you and, and be like, Hey, this is what happened. Like, and, and here's how I'm feeling. How can I work through this? If I didn't know how, or if I was down on myself. Um, so I think those are the two big things for me. So it's just having someone to be specific about my, my issues and then having someone to turn to. Okay, cool. And so if there's someone watching who's thinking about um, reaching out to a business coach uh, or even to myself, like what, what would be your advice to them to, for them to know it would be right for them? What would you get them to ask th themselves? this has always been for me, the barometer of decisions. Like I think about myself investing or not investing and think about like how I would feel about both next year. <clears throat> so like, you know, next year this time, how would I feel if I did it or I didn't do it? And so I think, I think there's always a little bit of fear in investments and I mean, I tell my clients the same thing. Like there, there is this fear because it's, it's, a, it's money and you're, it's like scary. You don't know how it's actually going to go and will this work? And you have all these self you know, doubts. And, but I think that if, if, you know, if you're, if you're ex like excited about it and you're kind of more excited than scared, I think that's a good indication of moving forward. Yeah. Uh, and, and to be honest, I just think it's, I think it's just easier with a coach. Um, you know, I remember telling my boyfriend, like, can I hire Jennifer like for my whole life? Like, can she just, you know, <laughs> you know like, is that normal that people get like coaches forever? <laughs> he was like, I don't know. <laughs> but like, I totally, I mean, I think I would love to have a coach forever. Like, and I don't know if that's normal, what normal people think around coaching, but like, it's just, it's such an, a great experience to, to have someone that, helps you grow faster yeah yeah um i think i i, I think everyone would agree with you i mean who doesn't want to have someone at their beck and call essentially <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like yeah it's just like having a partner but like there's no you know uh, romantic ties and there's no drama and there's no baggage it's just like total support <laughs> yes it's all support in whatever it is your your is most important to you <laughs> I love it. Your boyfriend's like, I don't know about this. Like, who is this Jennifer? <laughs> okay, that's awesome. Um, I don't know. That's all my questions. Is there anything else that you want to say? Or, um, let's see. Um, so I would say, just in retrospect, um, I'm really glad we worked together for a year. I, I signed up originally for six months, and felt like at the end of six months and I think we had talked about it but you know when I was asking your honest opinion like do you think I I didn't feel like I was ready to, to be on my own yet and um you know ask your honest opinion and and I think there's something about a year where especially in business and if you're new like there's just so much to learn emotionally and like it's it's hard like it's it's hard you know and I think most people come in with these grand ideas and ambitions and dreams and a passion. And I think if you, if you can be so easily like, you know, raining on your parade of that passion, because there's so much other stuff to learn emotionally and just intellectually that to have a coach, I think it's just so beneficial because for, for that length of time, yes, um, just, just to like, allow you to unfold your passion because anyone who's in this business is in it for, because they're like, this is what I want. Like, this is what I'm passionate about. And to have someone to help you remember that and to teach you what you need to know and, or help you learn what you need to know. So you can have that life. It, I think is just incredible. Um, so 
Yeah, I think I, I, you know, in, in my own business, I've, I've wrestled back and forth. Like I have three months and six month packages and I've wrestled like, should I do just six months in a year? Like I, I would ideally like that would be my long-term goal. Um, and, and I think in business, it's the same. It's like, can you really change in three months? I mean, yeah, but it's like, but so much other stuff comes up like that. You're like, yeah, I learned that, but like now I'm experiencing it and I need that support. Yes. So yeah, I think that that long-term, um, coaching a relationship that we have for me was just so beneficial because like it allowed you to really get to know me and to get to know like my hot buttons and what I struggled with. And, um, (laughs) that's true. (laughs) (laughs) I do know you very well. (laughs) So I, you know, she knew, you knew like right away, like what I would be upset about or like, so I, 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 I'm grateful that we could do that that full year. I think for me, it just helped, it it helped take that foundation and really just like amplify it. Right. Right. Amazing. Well, Jen, I'm so proud of you and I'm so glad you did come for a year. It it was a joy working with you and I'm so glad we actually got to meet, which is pretty cool in person. We got to, for those watching, like, you know, most of the time I'm on Skype because she's in the States and I'm in Canada and we got to meet in person, which was wicked. Yeah. Which was awesome. And I might see you again in a few months, which oh, is really- Maybe get in California. Woo-hoo! <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. And I just want to honor you because, um, you know, one thing I want people to know about Jen is this girl shows up and does the work. You know, she has- gone to new levels of certainty and new higher levels of income in her business because she does the work (laughs) and, and she does the, I think the work is fun, but sometimes it's also difficult and there's a lot, the emotional work tends to be the hardest for most people um, because you do a lot of inward journey stuff. And I just want to, uh, in front of the world tell you like, you know, I hope you are so proud of yourself for doing the work because, um, in that, that's what makes you a better coach and will help you help more people through your, uh, your medium, what the work you're doing by helping build this portion of yourself. Cause it just, you've just like expand it. You've expanded, it. you've expanded it and you did the work for that. So congratulations to you for doing the work <laughs> which is amazing because <laughs> a lot of people don't yeah a lot of people don't because it's easier to quit yeah right but don't get me wrong i've thought about sometimes but i, I know i knew i didn't really want to quit <laughs> <laughs> all right listen have an amazing day thank you so much for being here And I look forward to interviewing you in like a year and you'll be telling everybody, all right, like, here's what's happened. (laughs) Okay, Jen, have a good one. Thank you. Bye. Bye.